What's up guys, it's Dark Saint here bringing you guys another video about the Division. In this video we're going to be covering how to create the strongest holster in the Division. If you guys haven't seen it, be sure to check out my videos covering the strongest gas mask, the strongest chest piece, the strongest backpack, and the strongest gloves. This one's covering the holster. Let's go ahead and see what we can build. Alright, you guys know how I start out these videos. Of course, I always compare the 182 high-end to the 191 gear set, and just like all other armor pieces, the 182 is stronger stat-wise than the 191. Bonus going to the 191 is that you can equip four of them and get the four gear set item bonus. However, if you already have the four gear set item bonus and you want to look at something a little bit different, maybe you don't want to run two of anything else because it just doesn't make sense, then you can go ahead and you can equip two high ends and maybe get those hidden talents. This works on 204s versus 214s as well, and we'll cover those in just a second. So here we are comparing the 204 high end to the 214 gear set, and like I said before, you'll notice the 204 does have higher ranges than the 214 gear set. That being said, however, again, just like the last time, the 214 is a gear set, and running the gear set gives you that hidden bonus. So that's the comparison. You either you want the hidden bonus or you want higher stats on your armor. Of course, high ends do come with their own hidden skills, so you know that's always something to be considered. If you guys watched my last video, you guys already know that the holster, the gloves, and the face mask all have the same ranges. So say, for example, you have a 204 high end Holster will have the same stats as a 204 high-end glove and a 204 high-end face mask. The ranges of armor and the ranges of their attributes are the exact same, for those of you guys interested in knowing a few hidden facts about the Division. Another interesting fact is that the ranges between them, if you guys didn't know, are, how do I say this, uh, armor is 75% of attribute for these three specific armor pieces. I'll cover what the other ones are in the next video. But if you guys are wondering what your ranges are, look at your attributes and take the 75% of it. That's how I found my numbers, and it works true regardless of which one you're looking at. So obviously there's no 240 gear sets to look at as far as blueprint-wise. However, if you take their attributes, take 75% of it, that will give you your armor range. Just for those of you guys looking for hidden facts about the division. Of course, the last comparison we look at, like we always do, will be the 240 gear set versus the 204 high end, and of course the 240 is the strongest out there. 204 is slightly behind it, however, the 240 does reign supreme as of now. After patch 1.2, the 240 will start dropping in Dark Zone Tier 3. If you guys don't know about the different Dark Zone tiers, Tier 1 will be from level 0 all the way up to gear score 160, Tier 2 will be 161 to 200, and Tier 3 will be 200 and above. So if you're above a gear score of 200, you'll be able to run into a tier 3 dark zone where the enemies will be massively stronger. They've already said that all the 32s are currently in the dark zone will go all the way down to 0, 01, 0, 03 to 0, 04 will be your 33 enemies, and 0, 05 to 0, 06 will be your 34 enemies. That being said, of course, now you can get 240 gear set items out of the dark zone. Mind you, these are completely random, not guaranteed to drop. However, they did say they were going to up the quality of the drop rates, so maybe they'll be not as hidden as some of the 214 gear set are currently right now maybe you'll be able to find them a little bit more often that being said you're not guaranteed to find them and the only guaranteed way to get 240 is to run the challenge mode falcon lost but the new incursion will be coming out shortly and hopefully that will have a higher gear set so really with you being able to find 240s in the dark zone there won't really be a reason to run challenge mode falcon lost but we will see. Maybe they'll up a new challenge mode in Falcon Lost, and there'll be, you know, higher gear sets there as well as the other incursion. We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so the numbers are behind us. The hidden facts about the division are behind us. Let's look at how to build a holster. Now the first thing most of you guys are going to look at whenever you're building a holster is to make sure it has firearm stamina and electronics. Most of the time, if you don't have one of them, you guys are going to toss it, whether you craft it or find it. If it doesn't have all three, most of the time you throw it away. And really, you're probably doing that for a good reason. If a holster does not have all three, you'll be given a second major attribute. Meaning, for example, if it only has firearms and stamina, does not have electronics, you'll be given a second major attribute slot. However, your major attributes are very limited, only giving you skill haste, armor, protection from elites, pistol damage, or a gear mod slot. 
And all of these rangers are very, very small in comparison to the other armor pieces. Also, you can only have one gear mod slot. So even if you have two major attributes, you cannot have two gear mod slots. Ideally, you would want to run firearm stamina with two gear mod slots, increasing both firearms and stamina for those of you guys that are running lead, assault, and tank. However, you cannot do that with this specific build. Most of the time, and really for any situation, you're going to want to run all three of them with the gear mod slot just to boost one of them that much higher and maybe put armor on the gear mod slot. That being said, however, there is another way of doing it to where you can run firearms and stamina and then run a gear mod slot and armor. And the reason you would run armor is so that you could free up a space on, let's say, your backpack. You're already getting close to 65% armor mitigation and putting armor in a backpack really throws it over that limit. So you go ahead and put armor on this, hit the 65% damage mitigation, and free up a slot on the backpack. And I'll go over that more in depth in a video later on this weekend whenever I build the ultimate build that you could possibly get in the division either way the other thing to cover is of course your minor attribute which is really based off the skill whatever skill you guys are using is going to go in the minor attribute and again this list is kind of limited really the whole holster is limited basically all you're looking for is to run all three attributes and a gear mod slot that's it that'll wrap it up for the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it please be sure to like comment subscribe share it with your friends i'll catch you guys next time